Hey guys, what's up? Um, it's Kyle. I'm just going to do a quick video showing um, my tape job. It's uh, just a simple over the toe tape job. And uh, I'll stop it and let you know um, like different things I do to help me out. Like, because taping over the toe can be a little bit tricky. But uh, yeah, I'm going to start taping right now. I usually start, I don't, I mean, I eyeball it, but I guess it's around like two fingers from the heel, and I always go uh, heel to toe. I never go toe to heel. Um, so I'll just do this real quick and uh, speed it up, and I'll talk to you in a sec. So about here is where it starts getting a little bit tricky. Um, some people like to stop here, that's fine. Um, but for the over the toe, you keep going and um, it gets a little bit tricky right here. So what I do is I just tape extra, you'll see. Um, I'll show you that next, but you just tape extra long, fold it. So you're going to have like a big thing on the end like this and then you're just going to cut it out. So uh, I'll speed that up right now. But um, this works right here. If you don't want the over the toe, you can just um, go around back and finish it up. All right, so now your tape should be done. It's cut, everything. Um, if you can see, like my, me, I like to go um, each time I go over, I just cover half of the last tape. Like I said, I go from heel to toe. It just makes more sense to me. Once you're done, you take the tape. I like to run it over like that. Just make sure everything's uh, flattened out, smoothed out. Like nothing's coming up, no rolls or anything. Um, like I said, I'm kind of picky about how mine looks. I, that's why it takes me longer. Um, you'll have this excess thing here. What I like to do is I like to just go around this a little bit and pinch it just to make sure that um, the shape of it, like everything's good for when I cut it. I'm not going to get any random pieces that aren't like stuck together or anything. You can start to see your blade take shape too, um, or your tape job take, take shape because you can see the blade through it. You see right there. So that's like what your stick's going to end up looking like. Alright, so I'll cut this right now, and then uh, I'll show you. Remember not to cut too close. You're going to get a hole in there. Alright, I'm not going to cut it all the way. Um, I trim mine up more than this. You know, I get as close as I can possibly uh, get because I like the way that looks, but it's going to take a little bit too long. But the longer you take on your cut, the better shape you're going to have. And uh, I like to get really close, but like I said, that's going to take a while, so I don't want to do that right now. But uh, yeah, that's how I do my tape job. And uh, eventually I'll retape this. You know, it's starting to come apart right now, so I'll do that soon, but I'll show you how I do that too. Um, but that'll be down the road. So yeah, um, hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, this is just my tape job. This is the way I do it. Um, I'm sure you do it different, you know. Um, but yeah, hopefully this helped you if you wanted to learn how to do and over the toe tape job. Yeah, so just a finishing look like, sorry, I'll try and block the light. Like that's, that's what I did after cutting it a little bit closer and kind of forming it, you know, making sure that's what it ended up looking like. So yeah, enjoy, try it out, see how you like it. Take it easy.